Hi, welcome to the module one of our Spring Boot course. This is the basic uh, uh, module for the Spring Boot where we are going to get an understanding of the uh, some of the basic features of the Spring Boot application. Okay. So let's start with the very basic questions uh, where I think when you are starting your journey with the Spring Boot, that is going to be a first basic question that what Spring Boot is? Why do I need Spring Boot? When Spring Spring uh, for Spring Framework is there, there are Spring MBC, there is Spring AOPs, there are different modules of the Springs. What what is the benefit or what are the advantages which Spring Boot is going to bring into the picture? Right? What 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 kind of a features or what kind of a intelligence it it going to bring? Uh, which is going to help you out? Right. So this is this is a very uh, fundamental questions for the Spring Boot. So let's this is what the, the official Spring Boot definitions uh, says that Spring Boot make it easier to create standalone production grade Spring based application that you can just run. And then uh, it basically takes an opinionate, opinionated view of the Spring platform and third party libraries so that you can get started with minimum first. Right? That's that's how they 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 promote uh, themselves. Right? there is a number of things going on with this definition we are going to look into each of those uh, uh, specific terms that they have used in this uh, uh, while defining the spring boot and its objectives so let's see uh, so first thing they are talking about is uh, you can always create a standalone application right what does that mean so it simply means that you don't need to deploy your application to a web server or let's say to any specific environment, right? Uh, Spring Boot application is as normal as a Java application with a main method. You just have to, uh, you have to give the run command and you are good to go, right? You don't have to create a war file probably. You don't have to go through all these different kind of uh, setups. All you have to do is to just uh, say run or if you are packaging it, uh, packaging it as a jar file, all you have to do is to uh, run it as a jar file. It's a simple Java command, right? Opinionated. What does that mean? So that means that it takes a, a opinionated approach based upon, or it choose the configuration for you. Uh, so. Uh, in short, it's going to configure the, uh, it will configure basic setup for you based upon some of the parameters. For example, do you have a uh, web configurations? Have you defined a web configurations for your application? If yes, the answer is yes. Spring Boot will, will automatically going to add the Spring MBC capabilities to your application. It's all, it's automatically going to have the, the embedded Tomcat server uh, for you. So you don't have to go with all those steps, right? It, it's going to automatically deploy that application. So you don't, you're not, you, you don't really need a different steps. Or for example, if uh, you are using, uh, if you have, a, let's say, the database configuration in your uh, system. So Spring Boot understand, oh, hey, you may be needing uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, DB capabilities, right? It's going to automatically give you the in-memory uh, the database for you. So, right, these kind of things it it does uh, automatically for you, right? The third thing was where we were talking about okay, production grade uh, features. What does that mean? That means uh, it's going to give you some of the the features metrics, for example health check how the your application is uh, working there are another production grade uh, features which comes uh, built into the spring boot right so all those kind of a different features uh, spring boots provide you this is one of the fundamental question and most of the people have uh, this question when they start learning about the spring boot uh, or they start hearing about the spring boot uh, the first this is fundamental question which come which come into your mind is hey is Spring Boot a replacement for a Spring or Spring MBC? If I'm learning a Spring Boot, uh, do I need to uh, learn the Spring and Spring MBC? And the answer is no. Spring Boot is not a replacement for the Spring Framework or a Spring MBC, right? Or any of the other Spring modules. It's basically a tool set which gives you some features, some extra uh, advantages to build your spring or a spring mbc applications 
uh, like it helps you to build those kind of things. For example, if you are building a Spring MVC application, right? Uh, Spring Boot automatically have an embedded Tomcat server for you. If you are, if you just have to define, hey, I want to build a Spring MVC or a Spring Web application, Spring Boot will automatically going to have the right Spring MVC dependency for you. So you don't have to hunt all those dependencies for you, right? So these kind of a features, which are kind of a tool set, it automatically understands your requirement and then will try to give you as much configurations as possible for you. So you don't have to think uh, for those setups rather than you are focusing more towards building an application or developing your business logic around it, right? Uh, so while you are uh, going through this, the, uh, this um, tutorial, there are some of the prerequisites uh, which I really want to highlight before we you, you start your journey uh, uh, to learn the Spring Boot. You, uh, the expectation is that you have the basic understanding of the working understanding of the Java. You have the basic concepts uh, clear about the Java or Java or how the object oriented programming works, what are the different features for the Java, how the collection framework collection works within the Java, how you can run uh, how you can write a basic code with the Java, right? So the expectation is that you have the understanding as well as you know how to write a code into the Java. You 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 are not expected to be an expert into the Java, but you should have a, a good understanding of the Java. Okay. You definitely need to have the basic understanding of the Spring code, especially how the uh, the bean uh, creation works, how you can define a bean, how the bean dependency or the DI injections work in itself, right? How you can create, what are the different features when you are creating a Spring beans, all those kind of a basic, in, in short, the Spring code as well as the how the Spring IOC works internally, you should have the basic or the working understanding of those things. If you are planning to uh, create the MBC or the web applications, of course, you should have the understanding of the core concept of the MBC, a Spring MBC, what Spring MBC is, what are the controllers, what is the dispatcher servlet, uh, how the view works, how the, those communications work. Uh, you, uh, we, will be go, uh, we will be talking about those terminologies. So at least you sh uh, the expectation is that you have those understandings. Uh, we will definitely going to talk in more details on those things all right so that's that's uh, uh, the overall uh, overview of the spring boot in the next lesson uh, we are going to get into a more detailed understanding of the spring boot for example when we are saying it's a simple application you don't have to think about the dependencies we will just get a more understanding about it and probably we will see a side by side difference of building a spring mbc application without spring boot and building an application spring mbc application with the spring boot and we'll see how much code you really need to write to at least start working onto the spring mbc application that will give you in a better picture what kind of a powerful features or interesting features spring boot brings to your plate i hope you like this video